Look at this massive hall. This is a beautiful little spot in Colonel Danforth Park that we uh, walked along the river, found a little inlet, and great little spot for um, just some river fishing. So we found a little rapids in the shade. We're casting in there just with a worm, bobber, and a hook. The fish aren't big, but they're fun to catch. And we've got a little minnow here, if I can get the hook out quickly. The Colonel Danforth Park in Scarborough is a beautiful location with lots of free parking, no admission cost, a public washroom, drinking fountain, picnic areas, and lots of garbage and recycling bins. This site has lots of well-maintained trails, but you do have to go off-road a bit to get direct access to Highland Creek to do a bit of fishing. The terrain is uneven, so proper footwear is a good idea. The little guy right there. Because we're in such a shallow river with small fish and some minnows, I'm actually gonna go from a size four to a size eight or 10 hook. So the bigger the number, the smaller the hook. That with a small piece of worm is more likely to be able to catch some of these really small fish. So when I do that, hopefully we get a couple more fish on the line. They're not big, but they count. These, uh, these fat minnows are loving these worms. As we're trying to fish here, there's a beautiful fawn here eating itself in the ravine here. That would have been born this spring, that one. We'll put this minnow back, but again, a little fun bite size. We recorded this video in August, so the water level was pretty low. But at other times during the year, you can expect higher water levels and a greater variety of fish species. But be careful of the current when the water levels are higher and always fish with a buddy. Although during our quick visit, we only hooked onto a few different species of chub, other seasons or in different locations along the creek with deeper pools of water, you can expect to hook onto panfish, catfish, trout, pike, smelt, and carp. We spotted several deer during our visit, so it's likely you can expect that deer and other wildlife sightings are possible too. Fishing isn't always about catching the biggest fish. It's an experience and an opportunity to unplug and reconnect with the outdoors, whether you catch a fish or not. This location made our list because this peaceful oasis is a true urban fishing retreat. If you can look over to the side, we've got this really shallow kind of river area. It's got a bit of rushing water which I like because it's oxygen, oxygen and fresh water. But the best part is behind these rocks here, we can see a pool area here where the, the water is freshly oxygenated. It's cool, it's deep, and it's slow flowing right in this area here, which is where I'm throwing my bobber hook and sinker right in the water there. And the fish have just been fighting over it like crazy. You can see them popping in there right now. Just they love it. It's this nice, fresh area. I tried a little um, riffle area earlier and it didn't have that break it didn't have the slow area and they just it's too much current for them to fight so they like this nice little slow area right here where you can see generally where bubbles form on the surface there and they stay fairly slow from moving that's a good spot to hit oh there's another one feisty little guys right oh. so before you throw that in what is the best setup that you think would be for this kind of water? Ha! I don't know if the best setup. You really can't beat a hook bobber and worm, I think, generally when you're testing out a new water body, um, especially because at this point we're sight fishing. We can see a lot of the fish swimming around in there. And um, I don't know if we've already talked about this, but even when we put the, the bobber straight in the water, a lot of them are hitting the bobber first, which I found, found very interesting. So I'm wondering if they're actually targeting bugs. So that's another consideration when you're picking you want to, you know, match the hatch or match what you think that they're going to already be eating in the environment. I started with the hook bobber worm just because I know in this type of setting that's what has done well for me. Um, I probably wouldn't go with anything too, too big until I see larger fish. 
or start getting really heavy bites and then I would move to something different. All right, so at the time that we're recording this video, it's like the beginning of August, so it's very hot. Uh, and of course, the water levels shift throughout the season. So if you're ever fishing in an area like this, possibly in the spring, it'd have a lot, a lot more water, it'd be a faster water, but it would also change your opportunities because that landscape changes. So what, what works at one point of the summer or one point of the year won't always work at other times. So it's a good thing to have lots of things in your tackle box to make sure you're trying different strategies. Another little guy. Oh, that's my biggest today. Wiggly. Oh, good thing I brought my handy dandy forceps because he sucked it back quite a good, quite well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel, and tap the notification bell to be informed when we release our next video highlighting urban fishing hotspots of the GTA. If you know of a hotspot location we could feature next, add it to the comments below. See you next time.